welcome to the Summer Show with Dr. G. Thanks so much for joining us on this show. We'd like to help everybody get ready for the start of the school year. We'd like to remind everyone to do some summer reading and to stay in shape. And we get to try and meet some awesome and talented guests who are going to help us all be productive citizens and lifelong learners. And tonight's special guest is Ms. Wells, our new health and PE teacher. Welcome, Ms. Wells. Ms. Wells, welcome to the summer show with Dr. G. Hello, thank you for can having you, me. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you see me? Yep, yes, I can. We are so excited to have you join the Hoover team. You're going to be a Hoover Hawk now. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you've done before being a Hoover Hawk. Sure. So I uh, graduated from Temple University in 2019, and then I did my first teaching experience at uh, a Philadelphia um, school, a school in the Philadelphia school district. All right. So that Temple. Let's see that is that the owls go owls. Yes, that's the All owl. All right. So from an owl to a hawk. And you were in Philadelphia and you were a PE and health teacher? Yes, yep. And did you work with high school kids or elementary or middle school? I worked with, I worked with elementary students. Awesome. And how are you with like technology? It was really crazy for everybody when we went from being in a regular gym to trying to do some things online. Do are, you, are, you have a skill set and things like that? Yeah, I'm actually really good with technology. I created, um, videos for my students at my school, my previous school. Awesome. Great. So you'll, you'll have no problem if we have to do virtual learning. That's great. So um, what about books? Do you like to read any books during the summer? I like to read uh, nonfiction books. So Maybe. I like to learn. So I like to read books that are uh, more into what I'm interested in. Uh, I'm really interested in fitness and strength and conditioning. So I like to learn about that. Awesome. Well, do you have any suggestions for our students or staff or administrators for how to stay in shape over the summer? Sure. So how to stay in shape over the summer is find something that you like to do, something fun that's maybe outside, uh, like take a walk, go ride a bike, canoeing, kayaking. Something I'm really into is paddleboarding. And if you're exercising, make sure you're always properly warming up and cooling down and uh, staying hydrated. Awesome. Yeah, especially in this hot weather. You got to make sure you drink water, right? Right. Wow. And is it true that, um, you know, I worked with the science team this, this past year, and many of our first graders loved Professor Ladinos and Professor Smiles. Have you ever met them? Do you know them? Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, I've actually met them before. Wow, that's awesome. Maybe we could uh, sometime this year have you and Professor Ladinos and Professor Smiles and me all do something together. That would be great. Awesome. That would be really fun. Awesome. Well, we're so glad that you're here. Can't wait to start the year with you, whether it's in person or online. Do you have any other words of wisdom for our uh, viewers out there? Because I've got over 116 uh, YouTube followers. And we're just growing day by day. Right. I actually created a uh, bucket list today that I'd like to share with everyone. That would be so, awesome. Sure. I'm just going to share my screen with you. Yeah, so this is the summer bucket list I created for since we still have about two months of summer left. And most of these activities are outside or able to be doing, you're able to do social distancing. And I love it. Make s'mores. Would you believe that uh, my wife, Mrs. G, and I did that yesterday? That's a really? lot of fun. Outside? That, I'm, I'm out, assuming like at, in your house or would you, are you camping? Over, over the gas grill. Over the gas grill. Oh, really? Yeah, so As a health teacher, would you recommend that I have s'mores, you know, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day? I mean, not for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but maybe for a dessert. Okay. All right. I like this. Pick berries, go to the zoo, go to the park, make a fort, play outside, create a new game. I like that. That's kind of neat. Have you ever created new games? Yeah, I create games all the time. Cool. What's your favorite one? Uh, my favorite game is... Actually, when I was younger, a game that I played outside with my friends was called Jackpot. So we would throw a football in the air, and whoever ca caught it 
uh, they had to, they had a, either a punishment or a, they got something. It depended on who was throwing the football, what it was. So whoever threw the football, they got to decide what it was, whether it was a glue and you had to stay frozen in your spot or you uh, earned points. It was always Very different. Cool. That sounds neat. As, as like a PE teacher, either in middle school, high school, or college, did you do ever do any sports? Yeah, I, I played field hockey since I was in elementary school, all the way up into college. And in high school, I ran track and played lacrosse as well. Wow, you've done it all. That's really cool. Yes. Well, again, I'm so thrilled that you're going to be joining our team. And thanks for creating this summer bucket list. I love this. I think the kids will love it. Um, do you have any other thoughts or words before we, uh, we end the show? No, I'm, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited for next year, and I can't wait to get started. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to have you, and we're thrilled that you're going to be joining us. And is that an Eagles shirt? Go Eagles? Yeah, that's my All favorite. All right. Go Birds. I love it. Very cool.